Hello there, it's Lisa Forever Clean Soap Works. I am making some patchouli soap today. I don't like patchouli soap, but I make it because a lot of people like patchouli soap. And it's a little too earthy for me. I already have my oils in here and I'm going to put my goat milk in there. This goat milk comes from Ella. Ella is my favorite goat. <laughs> She gives me a whole bunch of goat milk. No, she's not mine. But that's who I get my goat milk from is Ella. So you'll notice that I put my goat milk right into my oils. I don't make my lye water with it. And that keeps the goat milk from scorching. And you don't get that ammonia smell. So I master batch my lye and then I have to add additional fluid, which is my goat milk. So it works out. I just emulsify it. That's all I do. Just real quick. I have to weigh out my lye water. I've been making soap all day, so it's a little messy at the moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. as I go from one to the next one and make a lot all at one time. I made loofah soaps earlier today and there should be a video out for that. or I have to, oh, I've got to weigh my patchouli. My patchouli is an essential oil. It is not a fragrance oil. And it is the light one. It's patchouli light Indonesian oil. Yeah. It's light, but it looks dark to me. But that's what it is. It's the light one. All right. I'm going to open my colors because I need to put them in immediately after I get my, my uh, mix into my small containers. So I'm using a lot of neon colors because to me, patchouli is 70s hippie fragrance. <laughs> I know a lot of you will dispute that, but I'm sorry, I grew up in the 70s. So I'm using Mad Micas and I only use Mad Micas and neon colors only go into soap. So I'm mixing some Pretty Kitty with some Tickle Pink because I had enough of both of those. Then I have some, their names are crazy, Tennis Ball Breaker. Now if you go into the description of this, you of my video, you will see a, an affiliate link. And my affiliate link, I get a small commission when you use Mad Micas, they are very, ethical company and they don't use the 
Beatles. Not the music group, but the Beatles that make the color red. So they are vegan, radioactive. It looks radioactive. <laughs> so they're a very good, wonderful company. And that's the only colors that I use. Grape Ape. <laughs> I love these names. Look at that. <laughs> now I don't have any blue. That is neon. I ran out. And I also don't have any orange. So it's nobody really cares. It's just going to be one, two, three, four five colors but my blue it's just blue i mean it's lighter blue but i'm still debating whether or not to use it key west key west is pretty okay then i need another small container so i'm going to do blue so let's get this show on the road Dump my lye water. And it's got a splash on me. Yeah, I have my glasses on. They splash me on the cheek. I'm fine. I have a mark on these glasses from where I got a splash right on the glasses one time. Always wear your safety equipment. I don't know if the splash was lye or if it was just oil. But you'll know. I wiped it off right away. But you'll know because they'll start to itch. <laughs> so it's not like someone took a flame to you, but it will start to burn eventually. Watch the color change on this. See how dark it's getting? I don't know if you can see that. It turns really dark. <laughs> now, if I don't add any titanium dioxide, it really isn't dark when it's when the soap is cured. It's it's fine, but when you mix it, when you first mix it, it's dark. Oh yeah, I got a nice light trace. Light, light trace. Where is my light patchouli? Like I said, it looks dark to me. But actually, here's the thing. I had gotten the dark before, and it's like syrup. It's so dark. As fragrance, I can't tell a difference. So I just happened to get the light this time. I'll just stir this one in. Now, here is the thing with micas they will become like speckled if you don't use a mixer to mix them in. So I use a mixer. Why I have such a light trace on this. I know so many people just love, love, love patchouli, and I do not. I don't love it. You don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. Sorry, patchouli lovers. I'm trying to make these even. I never pour them evenly. I never do. Yeah, I guess that's right. I'm going to put some white in here so I get a little bit of white. That's the thing with titanium dioxide. That will also give a grainy look to it. So I usually hit it with the mixer. I'm just looking to see if I have enough. Yeah, I think I do. Let me mix it real quick. Oh yeah. Perfect. Set that down. 
get my colors going. have to mix these two. I just am because why not? Because I have them. Let's do some great bait. Nope, we don't measure. I never have. I don't believe I ever will. It's kind of like when you're cooking, you measure with your heart. <laughs> you ever hear the cooks say that online? Just measure it with your heart. Well, that's what I did. Measure it with my heart. Well, you can't even see this. Oh, let's scooch. You got the scooch. Okay. That is a neon yellow. Yellow. Very neon yellow. This blue is not neon, but it's pretty. And nobody will care that it's not neon. Okay, I'm gonna go from the lightest to the darkest. Yeah, we gotta move quick here. It's getting. My oil was a little warm. So it's getting, it is getting thick. And I don't want it to get too thick. I want to be able to pour it. Here's the thing, I do not do an in the pot swirl because I want my colors to stay separate and be very pretty. So, I'm just going to pour them in the box and just keep going. No rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, that's still separate. Okay. Yep, no rhyme or reason, and boy, do I make a mess when I do it. Yes, I do, yes, I do. Go here, no, oh, here. It'll all be fine when I'm done. Ooh, that yellow is thick. Come on, yellow. I'll just block you in there then. I don't want like a huge amount to just fall. I am not going to stir anything in my box here. I don't want it to muddy the colors because it will. It'll muddy them. Ooh. Now this white is not super white, 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 but. It'll look good when it's right. <laughs> when it's done, it'll be fine. And let me tell you, my regulars who get my patchouli so boy, they they want it. If I run out, they are not happy campers. I'm not mixing this. I'm just spreading some of the white because it's in globs. Just kind of pushing it down a little bit so it's not so blobby. <laughs> like my words, I just use whatever words I want. 
whether they're a word or not. Awesome. Small blue on there. Reach everything down a little so you can see this a little better. But first, mm. the bottom of my box doesn't get totally covered in soap. I made a mess and I'm gonna wipe that up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Now you can really see it. And let's go with this. Stir, 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 make it soft again. Okay. Now tomorrow I will cut this and you'll get to see the cut. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Okay, now what? Green. Let's go green. Why not? Notice there's no rhyme or reason to this. I don't care. I don't care about getting perfection on here. It doesn't bother me to have it just kind of go everywhere. Why? Because I know when I cut it, it is going to be so cool. It just will. Trust me on this. Because it always is. And this is how I always do it. I tried doing it in pot swirl and it did not come out good. Did not. In the least. And you're probably thinking, well, there's a big old blob of yellow there. <laughs> yep. You gotta remember, if this is looking like a blob here, but when I go to cut it, it'll have one color on top of another. So it won't look like that. <laughs> okay. Just leveling it up. So hot when I do this. <laughs> I sweat a lot when I do this. And I must have gotten some lie up on my face by my glasses. Because I got some stinging and burning going on. Yeah, I'll take care of it, don't worry. And no, it's not the first time this has happened. I said by my glasses, not by my eyes. So basically on my nose. Can you see how I'm not stirring it in? I'm just spreading out the whitish color. So it covers more space. I don't have a lot of white left. Now I just want to get it in here and move it around. Burning. Let's 
Can we see there's no splash painting on there. I must have pushed my glasses up and had some soap on my glove. That's all it was. Yep, that's fine. I'm always worried it's not going to look very good, but you know what? It always does. I never have to worry. I really don't because it does look great when it's done. <laughs> I like just seeing where it goes. Oh, oops, that one really went over the side. <laughs> Seeing where it goes, it went over the side. Soap making is a dirty business. It, it really is. <sighs> Let's do some purple. Yeah. And then I will bounce this again so that it'll level out and move those colors around a little bit. A little bit. I don't want to move it all over. Just a tiny bit. I'm saving some for the top. I know I need some yellow in here. It's all dark color, so just don't want to get some yellow in here. If you're like me, you're probably watching going, put some over there, put some over there. <laughs> That's what I do. We'll move that over, put some over there. Why aren't you glopping it all in one place? I talk to my screen all the time. Some of this I didn't mean for it to like go over there and it just flew when I did that. See how messy this is? It sure is. It sure is. Still not stirring, just moving. bit of white left. I'm going to scrape this container and just put it wherever. It doesn't matter where it goes. Like I said, I tried to like smooth it out so that it's not in one spot, but it has other plans. Yep, I am getting ready for Christmas. I know, it's only October. I've been getting ready for Christmas since August. It's what you do. That is what you do. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> it's low on this side. Why is it low over there? I guess it's low over here too. 
Nope, still not stirring it, just wiggling. I know, I need to buy a microphone, don't I? I do. I'm working on it. Tell you what, you buy some soap. If I have enough. I will buy a microphone. <laughs> Heels and soap. Come on, people. There's that. What should I do next? Ugh, such a mess. I'll bounce it a little. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Got a little bit of green left. a painting. Alright, it's like oh it is not runny anymore. So it's very thick. Throw it on here. Honestly, my arm is getting tired. <laughs> the last of the video. Make sure it's in the corners. This is so funny. I have my radio station on shuffle. <laughs> if you play Christmas music, it must know that I am making Christmas soaps. It must, it must know. Oh, too much. Hmm. See, it is still layered, even though I'm kind of smearing the top with so hello hi
to meet any adjustment? I do. Okay, I had to pause it to wait on a customer, but look at that, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, can't wait to see the cut. Look at that, yeah. All right, so I'm cutting this tomorrow and uh, I'll see you then. All right, it's been 24 hours and I am tightening the wires on my cutter. And I'm going to cut that patchouli soap. So give me just a minute to make sure they're tight. Yeah, you tune it just like you would a guitar. And they stretch so what I do is I tighten it and then I get my soap ready and I cut the logs and then I tighten it one more time because they will stretch so here's my soap look at the back <laughs> so pretty get get it out of the mold Yep, I threw that in the sink. Okay, let's get this. My log cutter. see the whole thing hold on let me show you look at that now that's just the log and then I'll show you when I cut it into bars and now you can see why I don't stir it or swirl it because I want those colors to stand out as pretty as the other one. And that I will cut into samples. Beautiful. Let me set this aside and bring over my cutter. that it's tight and they're not fully stretched. Like I said, give it time to stretch a little bit. So 
through some of them more than others. <laughs> sure that it's up against the edges. Once you cut, don't back up. It'll <laughs> ruin your soap. So there's my little end piece. Let's take a look. Oh my. Now these will all be different. So I will give you a view on all the cuts. <laughs> How's that for neon? Pretty, isn't it? All right, let's do the first one. Is that the first one? Oh no, that is the second one. Here, let me do the first one. This was the first one I cut. It has a log. Like I said, they're all different. Each and every one. That one had a lot of yellow. I'm putting them in my tray to dry. Let's see about this. Yep, look at that. There's some with a lot of pink and blue. There we go. Gorgeous. And the last one. Let's see how this looks. Sometimes I test them because they get stretched as you use them. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now remember how I did the top. See, I just kind of smeared it around, but it didn't affect anything. Look at that. Oh, there we go. That looks like a face, like sunglasses and a mouth and a nose. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Always love when your soap is smiling back at you. Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't look. So let's see what this side. <laughs> look at that. That's <laughs> so pretty. And even though I've been doing this for a lot of years, it never ceases to make me happy. <laughs> okay, so that's it. And here they are in the tray. They will, yes, I set it on top of my trash can. <laughs> they will be drying for uh, at least four weeks. And hold on, I'm gonna move this. <laughs> There's my my bucket. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the back of my store. So thank you for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell. I always forget about the bell. And check the um, description. Oh my gosh. And I have the link for the Mad Micas and all my social media on there. So see you next time. Bye.